So today's lesson will be on the natural base and the natural log. And we're going to talk about what those are and how to utilize those within this current unit. So the natural base is the letter E. Okay, so you may have noticed on your calculator an E. That E on the calculator is a number. It's an irrational number. So an exponential function with a base of E is called the natural base exponential function. And it's used to model continuous exponential growth and or decay. Okay. So what is the value of E? Uh, suppose the class invests $1 earning 100% interest, so your R value is 1 each year. Um, using a calculator, calculate the value of the account A after one year with the following compounding periods as shown below. Record the values to five decimal places. So for time's sake, I've gone ahead and I've done this for us. So let's look at this together. Compounding schedule, if we're doing that annually, we're plugging everything into the compound interest formula and we're going to double our money after a year. Okay. Then if we're working semi-annually, compounding semi-annually, we'll get $2.25. Quarterly, we'll get $2.44. And then monthly, we'll get $2.61. And then when we start compounding daily, which sounds a little strange, but if we compound every day, we end up with 2.17 or 2.71457 as our dollar amount. If we compound hourly, which is 8,760 hours, we get 2.71813. So it's very close to the one previously. And then every minute, if we did that, 525,600 minutes, we end up getting 2.71828. And then if we compound it every second, which is quite crazy, we end up with this, right? We get the same number twice. So constant or continuous compound interest, so at every single instant you're compounding, it will always approach the natural base E. So E. 2.71828182845 dot dot dot. So in the same way people memorize uh, decimal places of pi, E is the other rational number that we can use and memorize those decimal places if you wanted to. So the natural instances of E comes up in radioactive decay. So every instant radioactive material is decaying. Uh, finding the age of artifacts, right? something ages in every minute, every moment, um, continuous compound interest, okay, like we just saw, and then um, also used in some calculus instances and then also gambling probabilities. So a lot of people bet, um, like the gambling probabilities are continuous, so they're never stopping, um, even throughout a, a sporting event. So in our calculator, I want us to find E, okay? So notice how we have EE -E above that comma, but that's not the E we're looking for. See how we have log and then 10 to the X here next to the seven? Notice how we have E to the X and then LN. We're gonna talk about what LN is in a second. But if we did second E, notice how it's E to the some exponent. So if I did E to the first, there we go. We get that 2.71828. Okay, you don't have to memorize E, but we do need to know where it's located on the calculator and how to use it. So E is a number. So if we had, we already know that Y equals two to the X and Y equals log base two of X are inverses. So if we have Y equals E to the X, then the inverse of that would be Y equals log base E of X. Okay, in the same way, because E is a number. Let's see how we can get there. So again, we got to switch our X and Y values. So if I had x equals e to the y, and then rearrange into log form. So here's my exponent, y equals the log base e, right? That's our base of x. But mathematically, we don't say log base e, we say ln of x, the natural log.
Okay. So I know it's backwards. It's ln. It should be it should be nl for thinking natural log. But a logarithm is a French word, and so it comes from um, some of the French mathematicians. They created the the abbreviations. Okay. So ln of x. So if we see an equation that has y equals ln of x, we know natural log, the base is e. So if you want to, it may be helpful to write the base in so you see it there. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So we're going to write each exponential equation in logarithmic form. Okay, we're going to write each exponential equation in logarithmic form, and then we're going to solve for x. So if we have e to the x equals 8, I want to solve for x. So x equals, and we can actually write it as log base e of 8 first, but then we can change log base e and just to ln of 8. Okay. So ln of 8, let's go into the calculator. ln, and it automatically knows if it's ln that the base is e, so ln of 8, enter. So I know over here, x equals 2.08. Okay. And then for the next one, if we wanted to find x, we need a calculator. So we have to just say second e to the fifth. And that gives us 148. Okay, that's what x equals. But if I'm rewriting this in log form, I could say 5 equals ln of x. Now what we want to rewrite into exponential form. So as I mentioned before, ln has a base of E. It's the natural log, so it has the natural base. So E is what I like to write into the problem. So I can say E to the X equals 10. Okay. So just like we had properties of logs, we now have properties of natural logs, and they are the same properties. So ln of X times Y equals ln of X plus ln of Y. Ln of x over y equals ln of x minus ln of y. And the power property, that exponent can shift to become the coefficient and then go back and forth however we want to help us simplify so that 2 can be moved to the front. Okay, So the same properties of logs, except now instead of a log, we have ln, the natural log. So let's go through these properties. Ln of 1 is 0. So the base of the natural log is e. So e to the 0 equals 1. So ln of 1 is 0. And then if we look below, ln of e equals 1. So if I put that base e in there, e to the first power gives me e. So that's why ln of e equals 1. For this one, similar, right? If we have e raised to the ln of e x, our answer is x, and then ln base e of e to the x will equal x. So these are similar. If I had like 2 to the log base 2 of 4, that equals 4. Similarly, now if I have e to the ln of 5, that equals 5. Okay, so we can always just equate those back to our log properties. Okay, so let's write these as single logarithms. So we're subtracting, and I have this 3 in front. So I'm going to move that to the back. So I have ln of 10 to the third, which is 10 times 10 times 10, so 1,000, minus ln of 8. So now I have ln of 1,000 divided by 8. For this one, we can shift that 2 to the exponent, that 4 to the exponent. So I have ln of 25 plus ln of 16 plus ln of 5y. And we can now combine all of those. 
Okay, so 25 times 16 times 5. So use these properties of logs and get used to seeing LN and E in the problem.